from Tampa Bay's streaming news leader. Brought to you by AlertTodayFlorida.com. This is ABC Action News. Well, grab the coat. It's uh, it's chilly outside. Your weather forecast with Shay Ryan is coming up. She'll let you know just how cold it's going to get this time around. Good morning. I'm James Tully. Here are your ABC Action News headlines. First up, a Hillsborough County Fire Lieutenant has been arrested after drugs are found at a Plant City fire station. The sheriff's office says someone found a botanical extractor operating in the building. Detectives say Tavoris Allen admitted to using that machine to convert marijuana plants into homemade cannabis oil. Allen is charged with felony possession of a controlled substance. The Florida recount ended nearly a month ago, but elections officials now say not everyone's vote was counted. Over 6,000 Mail-in ballots were not counted despite being mailed before the November 6th election. Under Florida law, ballots must reach the elections office by 7 p.m. on Election Day. The Department of State says those ballots did not arrive in time. The romaine lettuce scare not quite over. In the last two weeks, nine more people have gotten sick in the nationwide E. coli outbreak linked to romaine. The Centers for Disease Control says 52 people in total have come down with the bacterial infection, which can be deadly for the elderly or people with compromised immune systems. The good news, though, for us here, romaine grown in Florida is safe to eat. We want to say thank you to our viewers for their generous support of our Angel Tree program. Today, the Salvation Army is coming by to pick up all the toys and distribute them. If you missed yesterday's deadline and not able to bring your angels back to their tree, just contact your local Salvation Army unit directly. We'll have a link to do that on abcactionnews.com slash angel tree so you can get that taken care of. Now here's Shay Ryan with your forecast. All right, we're certainly colder starting off the day today and through the day we're going to see those clouds moving out. The chance for drizzle along the coastline uh, starts to move out of the area as well as our winds turn to the north. That cooler air settles in today and we will be reaching highs near 60 degrees. Overnight tonight is going to be even colder with clear skies. So tomorrow morning you'll be waking up to temps anywhere from the mid 30s to the mid 40s. James looking forward to that. Thank you, oh, Shay. Yeah. You get all your news updates all day long. Get them all all day long on your favorite streaming device. And don't forget to download the free ABC Action News app. Have a great day. Don't they know they're supposed to use the crosswalk? Hey, you on your phone, put that down until you cross the street. Whoa, stop! Can't you see there are pedestrians crossing here? Ugh, I can't take it anymore. Drivers, put your phone down. Be alert. Watch for pedestrians, especially when approaching a crosswalk. Pedestrians, always use the crosswalk and push the button so I can help you cross safely. Alert today, alive tomorrow, because safety doesn't happen by accident.